Hey guys, welcome back to the Minecraft YouTube channel to like kids challenge. Today we're on episode 500. Man, it doesn't matter if you 15, my nigga. I like young girls. I like 15, 14, 16. I like them real young, my nigga. Weezy, I Oh my god, oh, again? Who would have known? Who would have known someone in the Dream SP likes you? So I woke up one day and I was on Twitter, scrolling around, just looking at just, you know, Twitter stuff. And I came across a few tweets uh, about this YouTuber called George is Not Found. If you don't know who that is, by the way, he's in the Dream SP. He's basically like Dream's um, uh, friend. Thought I'd end up with Sean. But it wasn't a match. He's also a Minecraft YouTuber, and it turns out he was in some controversy. When you say controversy and Minecraft YouTuber, I'm pretty sure you know what's gonna happen. I heard that you a pedophile, you touch little boys and girls. He allegedly was being a little bit, you know, funky and weird to uh, someone that wasn't 18 or freshly 18. I don't know. You guys brought this to my attention. So today we're gonna take a look at the drama, deep dive, and get into it and see um, if. I don't know, man. We just you know the drill. I'm just gonna make fun out of it. So yeah, get ready for this juicy drama nation YouTube nation. Wait, what does he say? Drop. Let's get right into the news. Do you know what Dream SP stands for? DSP. The, so it says Dream Squad Miners. That's what it says! Bruh. We're gonna start off on Twitter because that's where I found it. Uh, there's Mochi. Wait, what is this profile picture? What the fuck? This video explains everything about the George Not Found perfectly. Okay, so you meant to say situation. Perfectly, you guys should watch it. I generally can't believe this. Alright, so hopefully he feeds, spoon feeds it to me. It's shorter than watching like a um, boy's critical video. So let's, let's get into this. Why does he look like that? What the hell? He's next. Oh. She, sorry, I'm so confused right now. Dream cried this morning, admitting that Katie was right. George not found- OH MY GOD! No, we can't just start off like that. What do you mean he was right? By the way, a little update on the Dream fun. I didn't make a video on it because I couldn't be asked. Um, Dream apparently was innocent, so he's not a groomer, he's just weird. And the, him beating his meat on the audio was real, by the way. From the information we have now, Dream's in the clear, so let's- I just wanted to put that out there. He's not- he doesn't diddle kids. And also, made a statement saying that his conclusion has massively changed and that Katie is right. Katie spoke out loud. Okay, Katie did this to the person George not found was daddling. That's swindling. Great. In such a huge way that they couldn't even deny it. Katie said that she was drunk, that she didn't verbally consent, and that George not found was the only one who was making sexual advances. They were hanging out. Oh, so it's not even like a kid thing. I think he just... Alright. I messages that George said that was proof were in group chats where neither Katie nor him were present. And the one screenshot that was from Katie was regarding the first night and nothing bad happened on the first night. It was Oh my god, this yappa doodles, man. He's not gonna show any footage, man. I don't give a fuck. I wanna hear Dream crying though, that's kinda funny. Just seen a video of Dream crying. Hold on, I'll go see this. A lot of people that think that I'm so I'm I fucked up for that. Yeah, no, this is actually fucked up. Oh, me... Calculated. Everything that I do is so... Planned out. And that, uh, you know, I'm just... I think right now that I'm being manipulative and I'm trying to... You know, I care about just... My image or... Oh my god, we get it, nigga. Like, long story short, he's crying in this, basically saying it's true. So, we're gonna go and see what Katie said, because that's where it's starting. It's hilarious that George Northfine is claiming he'll donate some money to charity. Oh my god, I remember that, when he didn't donate a single cent to Technobase Stream, and he kept joking around him. I don't know who this George guy was, but that's the first time I saw him, and he was joking about, like, the charity stream. And it was just so cringe, like, it was not funny. Since then, I've hated him. I, d I don't care. This is the victim, guys. Alright, let's get serious now. Lock in. Ready to disappear with this secret forever. I never knew that creators were allowed to talk about these kinds of things, and I guess I'm still new to it all. I just didn't feel brave enough, and I still don't. But her strength made me feel like it may be okay. What's going on? Is she reading from a text? I'm, I'm so confused. A little while ago, my story had almost been leaked without me knowing. So here it is on my terms. Here's my story. Okay. Let's lock in. Bye bye. Last year, at the beginning of summer, I was assaulted by a significantly older and popular content creator. I was freshly 18. 
Man. <laughs> Freshly 18. How old is George, bro? Brother, no, 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 man. We can't let you guys get away with this. If you're pushing 30 and you're talking to someone who is freshly 18, not even talking, if you're assaulting someone that is freshly 18, get him stoned. That's what I'm saying. Get him stoned. I remember a moment around October where I made a comment about a certain group abusing power over minors in their DMs, saying they had minors in their DMs. It was an absent-minded comment, and I apologized for it, of course. It was a possible subconscious jab out of my own personal resentment. My comments filled with people saying that I didn't care about grooming victims and that I thought assault was a joke. And I remember sitting there, reading the comments, scrolling over and over again, heart beating faster. Over half of the comments had him as their profile picture. That's so fucked. George's fans are gonna see it as an attack to George, like, oh, it's just some clout chasing girl who wants to cancel him. But, like, he actually did it, because Dream fucking confirmed it, he did it. And all of the people around George said he did it. Like, this is why I hate stands, and it's just so disgusting. Like, for the people that had the George profile pictures and was like, oh, she's just lying, oh, she's being clout ch Do- Okay, I can't say that on YouTube. I just wanted to die. I was embarrassed of myself, and I was angry, and I wondered if I could ever find peace. Alright, so yeah, that's, um, that was the start of it, I guess. George Not Found, uh, apparently, allegedly, well, it's, it's confirmed uh, now, but it was allegedly at the time, uh, assaulted her. So we're gonna, we're gonna dive in more, because there's still more. Let's get on! Right. I'll be doing a very serious stream later today. This is just the first, this is George, by the way. Clear. I'm gathering all the information and evidence to share. I have never, and would never break someone's sexual boundaries. Now we're gonna watch George's re response to that. Um, it's a long ass video, man. It's 25 fucking minutes. I'm not watching the entire thing, obviously. I'll skim through it and hear what he has to say about it, and then... I'll go to um, the peep, his friends basically saying he's lying and it's true. This stream is completely demonetized. I've turned off ads. I've turned off donations. However, I cannot turn off subs, but... Uh, oh my god, I think it's shut up. Recently, a streamer named Katie Bugs went live and told a story involving me about uh, sexual assault. So in this stream, I'm going to be addressing it. Okay, I'm sorry, you guys might not like this, but... And you might... Oh, but I'll keep it serious. I, I'm not in it. I'm not in the mood. I got shit to do, bro. But I simply did not feel comfortable doing it live and needed to make sure that I had all the details in place and uh, just wanted to make sure it was all perfect as it happened. So today I sat down, talked straight into this camera, laid out all my thoughts, and then essentially just edited out the blank spaces where I was sitting here thinking about what to say, and then also added some screenshots for context. And I'm going to be playing that video now. Uh, I'm going to be telling the whole story, so it might not seem like everything is completely relevant, but I do need to tell the whole story. Man, sh just shut up! So the first time that I met her, it was in Dream's hotel room at VidCon. To give context about Dream's hotel room, essentially, it was a bigger room than average, it's not just a bed in a room, like a typical hotel room is. Essentially, it's, uh, there was a living room, there was a table, and the bedroom was kind of separated from it. And for this reason, we used his hotel room essentially as a place where all of our friends could hang out in. Bitcoin is a four-day-long event, so we actually used it quite frequently throughout, throughout these four days. And we had creators, friends, in and out of this room throughout the whole event. Now, the first night that I actually met Katie, I was with Dream in his hotel room, and Dream was in a group chat with five other people. These five people include Katie Bugs, her best friend, and three other of her friends. Now, these five people, they're an official Bitcoin after party, and they wanted to dream they wanted Dream to go meet up with them and hang out with them. But Dream actually didn't want to hang out with them, and the reason is because at the time he was wearing his dream mask a lot. And he felt uncomfortable wearing it because it's just the whole mask on your face. So he just didn't want to go to the party. Loser. The eventually what happened is Katie and two of her other friends came to Dream's hotel room. This was my first time actually meeting them in real life. I didn't even know who they were before meeting them. And then we essentially just were playing drinking games in the hotel room. We were just having fun, talking with each other. Nothing crazy. Playing drinking games with somebody who's barely 18. Man, come on. Okay, this is, I'm going to say this, but and then we're going to continue. The reason why it's always the Minecraft YouTubers that are getting involved with these weird things is because they're actually fucking losers in real life. The reason why these YouTubers are grooming niggas and they, they're doing all this weird shit with like sexual harassment is because they're not used to this attention. They are actual fucking losers in real life that just blew up and have a fan base now So they're seeing all these little kiddies and all these girls fangirling and like holy shit I'm the man they get some power trip and because they they got no game They've never interacted with females before they just end up doing this shit One thing Katie said retrospectively looking back at the scenario is that I was flirting with her throughout the night And that she was uncomfortable with this because of our age difference at the time She was 18 and I was 26. She actually assumed I didn't know her age because she never said it People that are over the age of 21 in a scenario where we're doing things that people that are over the age of 21 are doing like drinking and also the people that came, came from an event where they had very heavy security. This was an official VidCon after party, and with previous VidCon after parties, I even had problems getting into these events. There was one time where they didn't let me in because they couldn't confirm the legitimacy of my UK ID. They said they weren't trained to look at- Yo bro, is there fucking so timestamps? PSA to all the Minecraft content creators. 
Just stop talking to women. <laughs> I bet you guys are glad I'm making a video on this because you don't have to watch this whole fucking 25 minute video. I also chose to mention my online friend. It doesn't really add to the story, but she never mentioned him or the eighth person that she brought with. So I'm just saying it because that's how it happened. And I want to make sure the story is straight. Another thing that she talks about is how we insisted that she drinks more and that we insisted on playing drinking games when this isn't the case. Again, they had already been drinking at this party before they arrived. This goes hard, by the way. Shout out to this. And they had also been the ones that were asking to play the drinking games. So instead of us insisting... Dude, they're fucking barely 18. They're gonna... That's how you should have known. That's what I'm saying. These niggas don't get a free mount interaction. They had actually texted multiple times, specifically wanting to play this drinking game that we had played the night before. And at this point, I was pretty drunk, and so was basically everyone in this room. It was the last night of VidCon. VidCon's a pretty stressful time. And honestly, a lot of people are happy when it's over. I don't know how. I really mean this with all my heart. I don't know how you can, like, even kick it with girls and not know their age. It's so weird to me, like, especially if you're, like, sexually attracted to the woman. Like, bro, you have to know. That's, like, the um, that should be at the top priority, man. And it was clear to anyone there that she was not uncomfortable with me sitting next to her. And eventually, two of the people that came to the hotel room left. So then it was just down to me, Dream, my online friend. Katie, Katie's best friend, and a sixth mutual friend. Next, she says, this is a quote, resorted to playing games on her phone to avoid the awkward situation. Now, I just don't see how this is the case. She's implying that- I love how we just taken what she said. Yeah, no, she's lying. Using her phone to essentially escape, you know, and such an awkward scenario that she's in. But that that's just not how it happened. And this is why. She brought up the phone game as kind of a point the the game was honestly the she broke resorted. fast forward to where he assaulted her man when in reality she seemed very happy with the situation was having a good time i also want to address a fact that she claimed that would confirm that i know her age she said that she had answered a question about her age during a drinking game and we were talking about sex and that she admitted to everyone in the room that she was 18 and a virgin at the time i just don't remember this happening i'm not saying this to just pretend like it didn't happen Okay, another one was just like, yeah, she said this. No, she's lying. I bet you heard that. He was like, yeah, I got, hey guys, yeah, I'm freshly 18. Uh, I'm also a virgin. He sniffs it. Yeah, okay, I gotta stop making jokes. <laughs> he sniffs it. Oh. It was very slow and I was very cautious about it and making sure that she was comfortable throughout the process. Me and so, Katie were very- Wait, so you was tickling It sound yeah. like it just happened out of nowhere. When in reality, we had been cuddling for over an hour at this point and it was not out of nowhere. Oh. It was also around half an hour until I started moving my hand further up. And the way it's phrased just makes it seem like it happened pretty instantly. Oh, so he was just straight up molesting her. I know. Nothing came out of nowhere. Everything progressed very slowly throughout the night. And also, before I continue, I want to make it clear that the furthest anything ever got was under the shirt touching and cuddling. Now, obviously, people don't typically ask. Wait, so he didn't even... Wait, what? He says, later, he made a game out of my embarrassment where he would touch me in certain areas to make me lose the game I was playing. Now, I actually remember this quite vividly. I remember she was playing the game. And there were parts where it would be very easy to lose if you were distracted. And she's right. I did do that. There were points where she was playing the game and she was at a point where it was easy for her to mess up. And I would, for example, tickle her or like squeeze her. What? You squeeze the boobs. Let's be real. When I did this, she would laugh. She would turn around and smile at me. Or she would play fight with me because I had just made her lose the game. She also says how... See, the facts, like, no one has evidence of this, though, unless Dream or the people around her that's not related to the girl comes out and says it, but Dream actually came out and said that he, he was lying. So I think these comments are her looking back on the night and she'd actually text. At some point, they streamed it, but... All right, man, he's talking way too much. Seems like everyone is getting allegations. I'm waiting for mine, the Balaki allegations. Is Balaki actually gay? He was involved in a gay sex crime. No, he wasn't. The YouTube comments is drastically different, by the way. It's like people actually have brains now, actually, they're trying to analyze it. I'm telling you, as a woman, I'm telling you to speak up in a moment. Feel uncomfortable. It's not that easy. You can't just, like, say that. Why do you say people, some women just go into straight up shock, and this is why it's, like, so hard. Basically, the best thing to do is just not be around women. Be scared of the hose. It works out in your favor. George Not Fine tickled an 18-year-old drunk girl's tummy, and this is the reaction. Friends! or anybody else as a scapegoat for your fucking sexual abuse is disgusting. It's fucking disgusting, okay? 
I, I, my friend cried in my fucking arms about <laughs> Okay, Dennis, why are you, relax. And you're on- Who is this? Is this Tommy in it? Denying it all. Um, His voice is cracking all over the place, man. He's like 10. The fucking hurt that you caused to her. You are d disgusting fucking people. You and all of your abuse sympathizer friends. You are all fucking horrible. Seriously, you are so wrong for trying to displace this fucking, uh, this fucking sexual assault onto anyone but your- <laughs> I'm sorry, he's trying to be serious, but why is it so funny, man? 26 year old man, 27 now, trying to fucking put the blame on 18 year olds that you don't fucking know! What the fuck is wrong? Alright. Yeah, why is he British? You see, this is why I can't keep defending the British man. So that guy, the guy, the British guy who was like molding, he's, he's Katie's friend. I stand with George. Katie, why are you acting like you got You didn't, you felt like you couldn't wash it off, question mark. Girl, he held you by your waist and made you uncomfortable. Fair. This isn't a survivor story. You are lame for not going privately to him about how you felt. Grow up. I mean, bro, it's still like... Nah. Sex, okay, the thing about groping, it still makes you... It's not... Yes, it's... If you're comparing him, yes, it's not as bad as that. However, it's still bad. Like, you, no one wants to put, be in that situation, so you can't just dumb it down. I do feel like... um, I feel like all problems, though, should be solved off camera and not to the public, but there's probably a reason why she came out in public. Um, I'm, to be honest, from what I'm seeing right now, I can't pick a side. I don't know too much. I don't know enough information, if I'm being completely honest. All this over, uh, are you a ticklish game and a full of drunk people? Americans are so stupid. That's, that last part's true. <laughs> YouTuber when they hit 10 mil. Sex offender, mediocre music career. Now, real talk, man, it's a bit too early to form an opinion. Uh, the dream one, uh, it's, it's throwing me off now because Dream's crying and saying that it's true. So, like, and that's his friend. Uh, I thought it was a lot deeper than just, you know, tickling or him groping her. Um, yeah, let me know your guys' opinions. Let me know if you guys can find out uh, some more information. Maybe I'll make a, I don't really give a shit, but make, maybe I'll make a, a follow up on this and do, do some deep diving. Pretty much it. Once again, let me know what you guys think. Grab your balls, give them a twist. If you're a female, um, don't, don't hang out with Minecraft YouTubers. I will see you guys in the next one, which will be soon. Bye-bye!